Doing a single level lookup is quite an easy process. You've got quite a few choices. You can use things like VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, lookup functions. You can also combine MATCH and INDEX with those as well to get stuff done. But sometimes you need to combine two or more things together and do a lookup on two or more of these columns. So a classic example is things like first name and last name. The example we're going to use here is a combination of make and model. Of course, you can't just do a single lookup here because then you'd just be looking up the make independent of the model. A lot of people suggest concatenating data together. So you create a new column and join the make and the model together into a brand new data item, which you can then look up. And that's okay as far as it goes, and it works some of the time, but it does come with issues. So what I want to show you in this video is a nice, simple, elegant solution that uses a combination of match and index, but cleverly combining it with an array formula. Now an array formula, if you've never used one before, is one that has curly braces at each end of the formula. You get them added by pressing Control Shift Enter at the end of your formula, rather than just pressing Enter. So if you haven't done it before, don't worry, I'll explain it as and when we get there. Before we do the formula though, I want to go through and name some stuff. I'm a big fan of naming things because it makes your whole process easier moving forwards. Now normally you would take a table like this and you'd select the entire table and use the top row as the basis for the names. So you create three ranges called make, model and price. Now I actually want to name cell B1 make and cell B2 model. So I can't just use the standard headings at the top here. I need to actually make these plurals I think. So this range here I'll call makes. And this range here are called models. So let's just go through and do that. First range here, let's go to the name box here, let's call it makes. Let's go to the next column, model, and let's call this models, plural. Let's go to price, let's call it price. Then go to these two single cells here, start with B1, and let's call this one make, singular. And B2, we're gonna call model, singular. Now if you wanted to, you could create drop down lists for each of these. For the make, you'd choose a unique list of the makes here. So you'd select these, you go to your data tab and you'd remove the duplicates first. For model, they're all unique anyway, so you could probably just use that list there and use that for the model cell here. For this example though, I'm just gonna type them in directly, just two entries here to give us a starting point. So let's calculate the cost. And actually, I suppose that should be technically labeled price. So in the cell here, I'm gonna start with an index function and open the brackets. Now what I'm looking at here is the price. So I've just typed it in, but you could also press F3 and choose price off the list here. But because it's so short, you may as well just type it. So this column here contains all the values, one of which I'm trying to get back based on the make and the model that I select here. Then comes a comma. We're then gonna create a match function, which is gonna determine the position within this range here to pick up the correct price based on the combination of make and model. And it goes like this. So match, open brackets. Now we're gonna concatenate make and model. Notice they're the singular versions here. So it's going to combine Ford and Ranger XLT together to create a concatenated entry. That's our lookup value. Now what match does is it looks for that value, or tries to find a match on that value in a one dimensional range. Now that one dimensional range is going to be a concatenation of makes and models. So in a moment it's going to create a data set that says Ford Everest, Ford Ranger XLT, Ford Ranger Wildtrak, and so on. And it will be a single list of entries of all of these items here combined. The last thing we need to put in is a comma zero to do an exact match. Then finish with two closing brackets, one for the index and one for the match. And then here's the magic, control shift enter. Notice how it's put the curly braces, one on each end. That indicates it's an array formula as compared to a regular formula, which doesn't have the curly braces. Now what the array formulas are doing is using a set of values rather than just one individual value at a time. It's combining the make and the model to create one lookup value. It's also creating a set of combined values here, like I said before, so Ford Everest, Ford Ranger XLT, and so on. And within that range of double values, when it finds a match on Ford Ranger XLT, it then knows which price to bring back, this one here. So let's test this. Let's make the Ford a Holden, and the Ranger XLT an Astra. And it's now brought back 19,310, which is the correct price for a Holden Astra. And whatever you put in here, let's try one more. Renault, Clio. So you've now got a price of 38,240. And if you check over here, that is the correct price. Thank you for checking out this video. Definitely subscribe if you want to see more videos like this with more tips. And please share this video with somebody you know who might benefit from seeing it. And I'll see you in the next one.